thank you very much for joining me in this video so here I'm going to show you a hospital management system that has been developed using Django yes so Django is a Python framework as you guys know which Python developers use for developing amazing web applications so this is one of the uh, web applications uh, that has been designed on Django and how it works let me just show that to you so if an admin has to register himself on this platform he can simply uh, hit this admin URL and he's going to get redirected to this page where he can sign up right now here he have to fill the required details so let's do it quickly okay so fine okay so I'm done with uh, registering an admin let's just see if we can access the admin panel through the login credentials okay so this is uh, the admin panel and as you can see right now one doctor uh, is there on the platform there is one patient and a uh, total appointments uh, till date that have been booked on the platform is equal to one right now okay so let's just log out and see how can we register a doctor or how can a how can a doctor register himself on this platform so he has to come on this doctor uh, and then he can apply for the registration uh, let's register a doctor so I'm taking a random name and and let's just uh, uh, okay allergists and let's uh, fill up the address okay so here we have to put the password okay and then a random phone number i am putting here and let us import the image of a doctor so i have some image on my desktop i'm picking up the doctor one image register i have successfully registered the doctor but can the doctor log in now with his login credentials let's check it out so if the doctor will try to log in into the system he won't be able to do it right because the admin has to first approve the uh, you know doctor's login credentials and then only he will be able to log in into the system so here you can see it's coming uh, that your account is not approved till now our team is checking your profile soon your account will be confirmed routes right so just log out and uh, let's check out the admin portal I think I forgot the admin login credentials fine I think this is the one which I just created okay so as you can see uh, the okay Rahul Jain I just created his profile on the platform and the status over here is coming as on hold so I have to approve it now so for that I need to come on doctor and here we have something called approve doctor so we need to click here and then we can simply click the tick box and as you can see now the status has changed from on hold to permanent so you know this is how the doctors can be approved let's log out now let's see whether the doctor will be able to log in or not so we need to come on login and then uh, I think yeah it is Rahul126 and Rahul126 login okay uh, now Rahul is able to log in into the system right appointments for you zero patient under you zero your patient discharge zero right so this is what 
currently is getting reflected in Rahul's portfolio. Okay, so this is how the doctors inside doctors pages inside looks like. So there are two to three pages the doctor can access. This is the record, right? If a doctor has to search for the records, okay, he can simply click here and he can search for the records. Your discharge patient. So right now there is uh, nothing here. Let's log out and let's create a patient login. So register your patient and here we can create a you know patient's profile. So username and password I am keeping the same and for mobile number let's take a random mobile number for now. So this project is going to give you a really uh, you know good uh, introduction to Django. <coughs> if you are looking for uh, a project where you can understand how you can uh, you know create the login feature how you can work with Django. I think this is a perfect project that you can refer to. Let's upload an image. So patient one and let's register Harshita. Okay, so Harshita one, two, six. Harshita, Harshita one, two, six. Login. Okay, uh, again, you know, Harshita is getting a message similar to the one which Rahul was getting, Rahul the doctor was getting uh, when he logged in into the system for the first time. Your account is not approved till now. Okay, so the admin need to, uh, you know, log in and he needs to approve her account. So what is the login credentials of admin? I think uh, it is Anubha126. And then Anubhav 126 login. And here you can see Harshita Jain's profile's status is on hold. Okay, so we need to come on patient and then approve patient. And let's just check out the image of Harshita. Uh, so open image in a new tab. Okay, this is Harshita. And let's approve her request. Log out. And then we can simply come on patient login let's see whether patient will be able to log in into the system or not one two six okay so patient is able to log in into the system and he she selected rahul jain so her uh, number is also coming here on the on her page if she wants she can directly contact her find appointments view your appointments so here nothing is there book appointments so let's just book an appointment for Harshita I am suffering from fever and cold so here she can select a doctor for herself let us select Rahul who is an allergist book okay doctor so these are the doctors, you know, uh, which who have registered themselves on this beautiful platform and their profiles are getting reflected over here. Discharge. Fine. Let's log out and let's come on doctor and let's log in with the doctor's login credentials, which we created. Okay. So here. Uh, one patient under you so earlier it was zero if you remember right now one is getting reflected over here let's come on patient and see if we can see the patient or not fine so your patient record fine now uh, you know harshita jain's profile is getting reflected over here fine so your total patient list this is a one let's check out the appointments so view your appointments i think uh, uh, the admin needs to approve the appointment first then only it will come in the profile of uh, you know, profile page of the doctor so let us again login through the admins uh, login credentials 
and here he need to come on appointment view appointment and as you can see one appointment he has already approved approve appointment so you know some while back harshita just uh, uh, you know try to took an appointment of rahul fine let's approve her appointment and now if you will come here on appointment and view appointment so you can see uh, you know rahul's harshita's appointment with rahul is also getting reflected over here so you know this is how this uh, platform works let's check out the uh, doctor's login now which is rahul 126 rahul 126 login okay now as you can see uh, you know harshita's uh, number and his ad her address everything is getting reflected over here so this is how the doctor will come to know about the patient who has requested for his or her appointment fine so everything is first getting approved by admin and once admin is done with approving the things it automatically gets reflected on the portal fine so let us come on appointments <coughs> and view your appointment fine so we are able to see the appointment here anything else can we do your patient record okay patient record is also getting reflected over here your discharged patient fine so uh, the patient has not been discharged yet so that is the reason nothing is coming over here okay let's log out and let's check out the patient login so it was harshita 126 harshita 126 So everything seems to be fine harshita's appointment has been uh, you know approved by the doctor confirmed as you can see the status has changed over here doctors these are the doctors discharge okay let's log out and let's just check out the admin panel one more time so login okay so this is uh, currently the total appointments uh, you know which have been booked on the platform doctor record so the, this is the doctor record then register doctor if uh, the admin wants he can himself also register a doctor on this platform doctor specialization so as you can see the specialization uh, are getting reflected over here of the doctors which have registered themselves on the platform then let's check out the patient record so these are the two patients who have registered themselves on the web platform till date admin patient so you know admin can also register a patient uh, himself if suppose a patient is uh, you know doesn't know how to work on a web platform so admin can do the needful for him or her discharge patient okay so you know admin can uh, Uh, just fire the discharge request also let us discharge harshita okay so you know this is what uh, the uh, the admin will come across so he can simply fill in the details over here for harshita and uh, let's say room charges were 230 doctor fees uh, let's say for 40000 Fine. Medicine cost, let's say twelve thousand. Okay, and other charges one twenty. Generate bill. So you know this is how the admin can generate a full fledged bill for a patient. Let us download the bill. Okay, so you know the bill can be can be downloaded in the form of a PDF file, right? So it's an amazing system. I know you guys are liking it a lot. and i'm going to share the code of this uh, system with you guys in the chat box of the uh, you know this uh, video so don't worry about the code fine okay so doctor and then doctor specialization okay this is perfectly fine dashboard let's just log out and now we are going to check the doctors panel for the last time anubhav 126 no it was i think rahul 126 
organ and okay so now your patient discharged is equals to 1 right so this is the incredible thing which you can do with the help of Django right it's very simple when you will check the code you will find it really simple if you know about Django in case you want my help you can contact me on the number which is getting reflected on your screen. So I'm going to share the same with you guys, uh, you know, in the description section also, my number and all the details. And currently I'm providing classes to my students on these types of things. So if you want, you can join the classes. You can, you know, have, you, you're going to learn number of things in the classes and definitely you will not come across any issues. All right. And you will be able to, become a successful coder with my classes definitely so view your appointment okay confirm doctors let's check out the discharge thing so here you can see you know the bill is getting reflected which the admin generated uh, through his portal so that's the beauty of this web application whatever the admin will do once the admin do something it automatically will come on the profiles or you can say uh, it automatically will start getting reflected on the panels of other members who have registered themselves on this platform so this is it from my side i hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot but before ending the lecture let me show you the about us page also right so this is the about us page and contact us you can contact the hospital through uh, this page over here you simply have to put your name email and a message for the hospital over here and simply when you will click here on the send message button it will definitely it will go to the admin directly and he will respond to it so this is how the uh, web application works i hope you guys enjoyed the lecture a lot do not forget to try this uh, you know web application test this web application on your device right and once you are done with testing it successfully i would request you to just go through the code fine and you will definitely find it very easy to understand it's very user friendly and django is something which you can understand easily there is only uh, you know let me just show you the code yeah so besides django <coughs> html and css have been used as the front end technologies django is uh, controlling the back end and html css are controlling the front end part Fine, so this is a very simple application that you can understand easily and it will give you a lot of confidence, you know, uh, if you want to become a good web application developer or a good application developer, then this application can definitely help you a lot. So this is it from my side. Thank you very much and please do not forget to like and share this video in your group so as to make it reach the maximum students possible. Bye bye, take care and have a great, great day ahead.